Yo, what is going on guys? It is Rain here, back yet again for a brand new Booga Booga video. And as you can see here, Soybean did a Twitch stream today and he was working on the void. So basically what you're seeing here is going to be the new void that's coming out into the game. Right now he's just working on like structures and stuff. Now obviously this is like a past stream so I can just like scroll through it and stuff or just like click this little line and just take me different places. And you can see the start of the void. Now it isn't completely finished. He's just like adding trees it looks like and stuff like that. You go more into it and it's just different landscapes. Um, there's also something I want to show you guys. Um, over here, look at this. This is the volcano. Well, kind of like a volcano. It's like a little like ocean area. I don't really know if it's like considered a volcano considering it's like flat and stuff. Let's see if we can get a better view of the volcano looking thing. Um, one moment guys. But anyways guys, I want to show you some other information. He posted something in his Discord. Well, not something, but a lot of things. He said, the void is coming together nicely. It will be available to access on weekends. I will drop it this Friday. Well, Thursday night, let's say. So it's going to be releasing Friday, which is going to be awesome. You guys already know I'm really hyped for this update, and I'm sure you guys are too. He says, the void will be filled with odd creatures, odd shellies, and odd ants that don't behave quite right. So there's going to be something quite different about them, which is pretty spooky. There's a strange energy in the air and you'll be able to use spells in the void. Now, I don't know what he means by spells. Maybe it's like Skyrim where you can like shoot fireballs and stuff at people. That'd be pretty cool. And then he says, gaining oddity will allow you to summon odd creatures in the main Booga game as well. So there's two different games. There's the void and then there's main Booga Booga. So apparently you're going to be able to summon these odd creatures in the main Booga game. I don't know if they're going to attack people or not, or if they're just used as like pets, like the, the pet Shelly. But either way, that's pretty spooky. Like, imagine somebody just coming in with this thing right here. Like, having a two-headed Shelly. I kind of want to have my own two-headed Shelly. That would be hilarious. Like, people would be like, what the heck? But anyways, anything else he said wasn't really that important. He says, I was thinking of a portal that teleports you or your whole tribe. Um, we already know that. But he did say in his stream earlier that the way to get to the void might actually be destroying all the old god heads. Or not just old gods, but like the gods in general. Just destroying all the heads and that would teleport you. It's not entirely confirmed yet, but that's most likely what's gonna happen. So I did you guys a favor and watched his stream for three hours, and that, that's kind of difficult to do, but you know, I did it for you guys, and he said this might be the main boss in the void, which is kind of spooky. It's like a little spider thing, but it's purple and it has like weird legs. I have no idea what those are, but if this is the boss here that's really, really spooky. Also guys, one thing I'm really relieved about is that he said void armor is not gonna be a mojo thing, so we're not gonna need mojo points for that. Um, he said it's, we're gonna get it like a different way, but he also said something else in his stream that Void Armor might not actually be better than God Armor in the main game, but it will be better than God Armor in the Void. So it'll have like a debuff in the main game, which kind of sucks, I don't like get the point of that. But once again, it is only an idea that he said, it's not 100% confirmed, so it might not happen guys. So if you guys don't know, Soybean actually did a competition, well not Soybean, but Planta did a competition for a bunch of artists to just draw different concepts for what the Void Armor is gonna look like. And this armor over here won, so this is gonna be what void armor looks like in the game. It looks really cool, honestly, like, that helmet is just pretty unique to the game. It's like you're all geared up, and it's just covering, like, your face entirely. So it looks really cool. I'm actually pretty hyped for this. This update right here is looking great so far, and it looks like this is gonna be the biggest update in Booga Booga of all time. So hopefully it does skyrocket the player count a ton. But yeah, before I end the video here, let's just take a little last look of the void and what's going on here. So it's just going to have a bunch of different islands. Actually, can we get like a different view? Yeah, this is more like complete-ish, I guess. But as you can see, there's like floating pillar things with like waterfalls coming down. The trees are purple. Um, there's not all the trees that are purple. Like some over here in the background are purple, just yellow, different trees. Um, there's a bunch of like purple. I don't know how to explain this. It's like little areas of purple on the ground and mostly it's grass. So if any of you guys play Toraria and you remember the corruption or whatever it is in the game, like... I, I forgot what it is, but anybody who plays Terraria will know there's like this purple island or whatever. Well, not really an island, but like a biome, and that's actually like a corrupted place. That's kind of what this is looking like, but so far the void is not too big. It's just like a few islands clumped together. There's nothing really that major about it. It's not as huge as the regular Booga Booga map, thankfully. Like, it shouldn't be that huge. You just go there and you fight the boss and then you leave. But one thing he did confirm, guys, is there's going to be no VIP servers for this, apparently, because Roblox doesn't allow it. So when you actually go to the void, it's going to be in a public server with a bunch of people. 
Now, I don't know how you feel about that, because what if there's the boss, right? And then people before you defeat it, and then how long is it going to take for it to respawn before you can actually fight it? So that kind of does really suck, but it's whatever, guys, honestly. But yeah, guys, that was just a quick little video going over the new update. I hope you guys did enjoy it, and you're pretty hyped for this update as much as I am. But anyways, I'll see you in the next video, and peace out.